Hello, welcome, welcome back to A Day Full of Budgets. Happy Sunday. I'm actually recording this on a Sunday, which is amazing. Um, so this is my check-in for week one of April. I mean, where's the first week of the school holidays gone? I mean, just gone. Um, so we've got that. And also we have got unboxing uh, of this, which is from um, Kit at Grounded Budget. Um, so I won her uh, giveaway on Instagram so it's her self-care box and I can't wait I haven't um, actually like looked into it so I can't wait to do that um, well I've opened the box and I've kind of seen that there's wrapping on the top so I'm like oh so excited I've literally been waiting since yesterday because <laughs> it arrived yesterday and I'm like ah uh, so let's just do our quick check-in for the week and then we can unbox that yes right We'll go to my purse, um, which has got a lot of junk in it. Right, let's move that out of the way. Uh, oh, hold on. So I have already emptied my purse once this week. Um, I had a two pound coin, which I put in my jar. Um, and I had so many pound coins, I actually changed it up for a five pound note. Because um, my dad needed some coins so I swapped that out with him and then I just purposefully didn't put it back in my purse so I thought if it's not there I can't spend it um so we've got let's just put that ATP is I'll just put it to the side it's going to go back in my purse and then I've got another two pounds there um so I've got 10 pounds which is from my March um, monthly savings challenge so I've done the passport um and I had so it's 53.50 and then I think it was about £3.80 to post. So some of the changes kind of in here and then I had £10 notes. So I'm going to put that somewhere um, in a minute. And then I've got £9 in change left from spending. Um, and then we've got, what have we got left? Right, hold on. Let's start from the beginning because I's going to get confused. Hold on. Right. I'm going to start from I'm going to start from my sheet from the beginning <laughs> because otherwise it's just too confusing. Right. So food, we still have our 15 pounds left. How amazing is that? Um, I honestly thought that we would have spent loads this week on food, um, but we really haven't. And I've managed to buy like dishwasher tablets. Yeah. So we've spent the 118 pounds that we had um, and we've got 15 pounds. Um, so actually, let's quickly take this out as well. Kind of do a bit of both um, while we're here. So that's out. Uh, right, so my self-care, I had five pounds um, in here and I um, spent two pounds in a charity shop on a skirt and a shirt for a birthday party that we have at the end of the month. Um, it was so nice that literally they had everything, all the clothes in there for a pound. And I was just like, ah, and it fits. I mean, that never happens. Um, so my other three pounds kind of part of that change, which is fine. Uh, time for us, we haven't spent, oh, do you know what we'll keep? Because things are just getting all over the place. We'll keep them up there. So time for us, we haven't spent. So family fun, we spent 35 pounds and some coinage change that I had in my purse. We went to the beach, we got um, chips. We got donuts. We went to the, um, we call them the penny slots, but they're not pennies anymore. We use the 2P machines. Um, we put a ridiculous amount of money in to come out with really crap stuff. <laughs> but you know what? We had a great time. So we spent about £35 um, and a bit of change. We had more cash than this um, because I bought £70 in from Easter. Um, but I used 40 of it for something for clubs so I've digitally put that £40 into the bank for Family Fun so Family Fun actually has like £60 in it hold on let me let the dog in It's not the kids, it's the animals. She doesn't want to be not with me. <laughs> then I always shut my door um, when I'm filming because otherwise I just get people in. What was I doing? Family fun. Right, do you know what? We'll sort that out 
we'll sort that out next video don't worry about that and then health and beauty we've spent 10 pounds on stuff i don't even know what it was what did we do oh i think we went to home bargains did we go to home bargains this week was that this week or last week honestly the days are just merging they're just all like a fuzzy haze of blurriness right so that's the cash what else have we spent so we have spent from clothes oh my daughter rinsed me <laughs> honestly taking a 12 year old girl into town is just like a big no-no um so she spent 70 pounds although actually i got myself a bodysuit um so it wasn't all her she spent 60 pound 55 call it 55 um on a load of clubber um which she has literally emptied her wardrobe this week so um all of her drawers all of her overflowing wardrobe brought like massive massive piles down um and i've put it all on vintage tried to um sell it all most of it um which has been great but it does mean that she's not really got much left <laughs> um so she's got like 45 pounds left i'm gonna be reaching across because my placeholders are not in front of me um yeah so we've got 45 pounds left in clothes um which is is fine i think there's one thing from primark that needs to go back but i think it's only like three quid so we spent all of that um home it's home in here so we spent 60 quid on you ask what did we spend 60 pounds on in home oh uh plug extension cable box thing um for behind the tv because we need seven and we only had six one and fire lighters i think for the fire really 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 not very interesting so we have got what have we got seven odd oh, the we're just gonna put 800 pound in there because i can't be bothered to change it <laughs> oh my god i will sort this next video promise um kids has also all gone we're in a minus we're like minus 30 quid um because <laughs> when we we're in town my daughter want needed needed she didn't need it um she wanted to get some primer for her concealer to conceal the bags under her eyes she's 12 i mean i say she just needs to sleep more but you know whatever um yeah and then some there was a deal you know a deal so if she got three things it would make it like loads cheaper so anyway she used all of her credit money to buy these deal um and it was like 40 quid i was like seriously honestly no um and then i've also put the children's pocket money up from april because everything else has gone up and actually the kids pocket money really doesn't get them very much they don't get paid very much um yeah because you know they get quite a lot anyway uh, yeah so i've put that up clubs has also gone like massively over but um it's covered most of eight so i've not got much more to pay out in april so again i've got 120 pounds over so we have spent uh 210 pounds oh my god um on club fees uh, but that covers three different clubs but yeah say no more about that one um and then we have oh hmm. so we've got a, another stone chip on the electric car another one like we never like have never had stone chips and this car we've got two so we've had to pay 25 pound out for that um but what I'm, I'm not going to adjust wherever it is this um because i plan to put 25 pound in so instead of taking the amount and putting them back in i'm just going to leave it and we'll just call it quits on that one and then i have had to buy my work software so this is now done. Yes, sorry. So we'll take that out and we'll pop that at the back because that is done for another year. 
so quite spendy actually this week um but not too bad not too bad it's okay so let's just put this money away and then we can unbox right so we are going to do the sunday savings on the right day of the week can you believe that so we're gonna put seven pounds in here so five six seven oh actually i didn't even count up how much i had left so i've got 10 20 25 30 34 but 10 pound of that is going to go somewhere different well not different but just a select place because that comes from a savings challenge yeah so mm, right. so we're gonna put seven in here so five six seven is cool and then we're gonna put two pounds in here in dreams from grand budgets um and i'm just gonna color in yeah i'm using because i haven't laminated these i'm using a pencil crayon because i don't want the ink to bleed especially with it being intricate so I decided to get a good old-fashioned crayon. Do you call them crayon? Pencil crayons? Coloured pencils? I don't know. What do you call them? What do you call these? Crayon? Pencil? I don't know. Coloured pencil? Coloured pencil crayon? Anyway, not shut up. Right, that's two of those. For this two pounds. I was about to waft it then, but I don't need to. Right, and then I'm going to put £15 into growth to get this moving. Haven't got the pen. Where's the green pen? Here. So 15 is just one little leaf, not one set of leaves. So we'll put 15 in here. Should we count that? So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, 225. This is a 600 pound challenge. So we're sort of over a third of the way, which um, is great. And then this last 10 pounds is going into Christmas, which I haven't put in for ages. So my 2024 challenge is saving up for Christmas. Um, so this £10 came from my monthly savings challenge. Um, so I'm going to put it into Christmas. So I'm just going to colour this because the 10's already been done. The 8 and the 2. I will probably condense this again at some point when I actually start putting some money in. Awesome. Should we see how much we've got in there? No idea. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 10, 20, 32. 232. I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, it's better than now, isn't it, for towards Christmas? I was hoping that I'd do like one of these a quarter. That's not happened. So we'll see. We'll see how far we get. It's not the end of the world if I don't complete it. I mean, as long as I complete at least two and a half, then that'll be fine for Christmas. So that's all the cash. Right, shall we unbox? Okay, let's clear some space. I'm gonna put these up here. Right, I hope you're gonna be able to see it. So we're gonna unbox this together. Uh, hold on. Yeah, right. Push these right back. Oh, that's just fallen on the floor. It'll be fine. Right. Oh, I've never had anything like this before. I'm so excited. Thank you so much um, to Grander Budgets. So we've got, uh, thanks so much for entering the giveaway, Natalie. Um, I, th oh, I threw in some chocolate hobnobs as an extra cheat. So the question that... Oh, uh, the suggested answer to a uh, question for the giveaway was what's your favourite biscuits? Now my favourite biscuits are chocolate hobnobs. Um, so 
she's very very kindly added them in oh thank you so much and also massive congratulations because she's recently got engaged so that's awesome um so yay i right, let's leave that there oh here they are oh my god i am so gonna enjoy these with my cup of tea tonight oh thank you so much right let's have a little look right so we've got some lovely socks oh they're so soft so soft lovely i've never done one of these like unboxing things before so i don't really know what i'm doing <laughs> um oh they're all wrapped up oh this is lush we might be here a while guys i'm sure you won't mind Isn't that beautiful? And do you know what that's perfect for? My dice, because my dice tray is like the world's smallest dice tray and the dice always fall off. So I'm going to be using that now for my dice. Thank you. That's so amazing. Right, let's see what this is. Sticky notes, love, love a sticky note. Right, I'm just going to chuck them on the floor. So, absolutely love sticky notes. My kids always steal mine. Oh, look at that! So when I use a notebook, I have a notebook with the small boxes in, and I sort of draw a box and then write my task, and then I can like tick the box. So they are brilliant. Love that. I'm definitely using that. Next, what's this? So I can't even remember what was um, in the in the, the uh, sort of giveaway prize now. Oh yes! Oh, and it's vegan too. Um, so it's an oat milk hot chocolate shot. Um, so I can't really have milk. Um, so this is like just perfect for me. Um, and I think this company is based where I live. Um, which is even better. I love a UK based company. Yeah, it is. So if you know where this company is, you know where I live. Um, yeah, at Christmas, we always do um, a hamper for my indoors um, of products that are all made in our local county. Um, so we got them these. Gosh, my kids love them. Maryland cookies. Love a cookie. Oh, that's a nice green. It's nicer than the green I've got. Love that. Look, there is so much in here. Oh, you're so kind. I love this. I don't know if I'm doing it justice. I hope I am. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a cute a spoon. Is it a spoon? Display. Can I use this? It's too pretty to not use. Oh, maybe I can use it for like, I don't know, dice or something no idea but it's so cute i'm gonna save the savings challenges for the end this is so amazing oh some seeds i've got a planter by our um back door that's um looking very very sad um, so I might put some of these in and they can be planted now. Perfect. Thank you for those. Oh, I've got a right diddy one here. Oh. Can't unwrap it. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. And it's exciting Sunday as mine. This is so exciting. Ooh, some washi tape. Now, I have been really tempted um, to do an envelope challenge with actual envelopes, um, but I'm a bit scared. <laughs> um, so I might start off with maybe a small one if I can find one. Um, so this would be perfect. Love that. I'm gonna pop that in my tray. Right, there's one more I think to undo. Ooh, and then the challenge, savings challenges are in the bottom. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love that. I hope all of this has been in shot, actually. 
That's so cute. So cute. Oh, yes. A face mask. I love a face mask. My daughter and I just absolutely love doing these. Oh, and popping candy. <laughs> My favourite. So we actually won some popping candy at the weekend when we went to and done like the penny slots. It was the um, apple, like fizzy apple, like little one. Had a shot. Loved it. <laughs> so that's so cool. Oh, brilliant. Love that. And then last but no means least, we have some savings challenges. Uh, so we have got the Russell Russell. So five pound into each bag. Oh, sweet pea. Oh, I love this. Um, so each pea is a pound and then the pod is 20 pounds. Oh, one tough cookie. Oh, I love that. I've not seen that. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure whether this is a new one that's on its way out. So apologies if I've just spoiled things. Um, but oh, I absolutely love those. They're just so nice. Oh, thank you. I'm just going to keep saying it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Um, oh. Should we just bring all of it back in? I mean, look how... I just, I'm definitely not going to do all of this justice, and I do apologise for that. <laughs> the little spoon, is it even in shot? Probably not. Nearly, nearly. Yay! Thank you! Um, so cool. Um, so actually, with those challenges being small ones, um, I have actually decided, so I've stopped doing the 100 envelope challenge that I have um, at the moment because we're going to use that money. Um, but I am going to start again with one. But what I've decided to do is have like a 100 envelope savings challenge wallet. And what I've already done, I'm going to show you this now. Um, and I know this video is probably going to be quite long. Um, but I'm going to have an envelope and I'm going to see if I can get some vinyl. Um, and it's going to be my 100 envelope savings challenge or 50 envelope savings challenge. I haven't really decided yet. But what I've got in here is a lot of the small challenges that I've kind of been collecting. So these are from Budget with Abby, their little moon now, and then some little freebies. But what I've been doing um, when I was on my Etsy van <laughs> um, is I've been printing off. So I've just actually printed this one off, which is um, Every Penny Counts by Joe. So it's a freebie. And then I printed this one off, which I think is from the Rock and Rich, I think. Um, and then, uh, so a lot of um, Etsy creators have done a lot of freebies, um, thanks to Jess R, or Budget with Jess R. And so I printed them off, but what I've done is I've put my own amounts on each of them. And then, so instead of them being like the same like sort of five pound each time they're a different amount because if i use my spare change i don't always have five pounds um so yeah so that one's from luna lolly and then i've done one from dilly dally budgets um little moon budget so again i've just put the amounts on there uh dingley designs i've done one um the hippie homestead has done one and they're all paper i'm not going to laminate them because um yeah, I didn't really want to kind of get all the plastic and stuff. So I'm going to add these, all of these. I mean, there's like, I've got loads here. Um, and then I'm going to add these ones to it as well, because these are nice small challenges. Um, so I'm going to add those into this with all of these. And this will be what will form my 100 envelope challenge. So, yeah little sneak peek there right i'm going to take all of my sweet treats for a lovely sunday um and enjoy a cup of tea in the sunshine whilst it's still here um and enjoy these so again thank you kit so much um from grounded budgets and do go and check out her etsy store um her stuff is amazing um and her insta so she's not on youtube but she is on instagram so at grounded budgets um yeah go and check her out um, and thank you so much again. Thank you guys so much for watching my check-in and I'll see you soon. Bye.